Hey, I'm Janelle and this is to DIY for. Now, despite the fact that me having a wine rack is almost pointless just because whenever I go out and buy it, I pretty much drink it right away and I never seem to keep a nice stock of wine. But if you have more self-control than me and you'd like to keep a few different types on tap for your guests or for yourself, um, it's beautiful to put this out on display. And I have done a wine rack in the past before. Uh, that one I made for literally zero dollars. I will leave that linked in the cards for you if you want to check it out. This one is definitely a, a lot fancier. It looks a lot Lot nicer it takes a little bit longer but it's still really affordable to make and let's get into it so this wine rack actually basically cost me no money as well because I stole this piece of wood from my neighbor's backyard. They've done renovations and it's been laying out there all winter, so I figured I could use it. Uh, anyways, plywood works great for this project because you can make it as wide or as long as you want. This piece is 14 by 18 inches. Obviously what you haven't seen me do here is cut the board down, but also I've really sanded it. It was in pretty rough condition made it as smooth as possible and make sure you do that before you go on to painting or staining like I'm doing here. So I'm just giving it a coat of a stain that I already had at home. Again, saving money, costing me nothing. But once you've given it that coat, you're going to want to go back with some Varathane and uh, give this an extra coat really smooths out the board, finishes it nice as well. So I gave it a couple of coats of Varathane. In between coats, you want to go in with 220 sand grit um, paper or sand, yeah, sandpaper, and uh, go back and give it a couple more coats of Varathane. So once the board was done and dry, I moved on to my fabric. Again, this is just scrap fabric that I have kicking around at home. It is a faux white leather. I would suggest using a fabric like this. It's strong, it's sturdy, it looks good, and it's gonna hold the wine well because they are quite heavy. So what you're doing is cutting two strips per bottle. These are one and a quarter inch wide by 12 inches long, basically enough to wrap around a standard bottle of wine. And then we're going to stagger them on our board. So I only have room for three and we're staggering them because the bottles face opposite ways. So where I decided to put my straps, one inch down from the top and two inches in. And then my next strap sat four inches inches beside that strap. So my camera died and you didn't see me screw these into place. I'll show you with these next two, which are off center because we're basically doing the opposite of what we just did. So because that's two inches apart away from that side there, we're making it two inches away from this side over here. And this is six and a half inches down. Now it almost looks like they're going to overlap here, but don't worry, you put the bottles in and they don't sag that low. So it works out fine. But what you wanna do is drill a pilot hole. Make sure you have a board underneath so you're not drilling through your table and that you're carefully drilling that pilot hole and the screw through the fabric because it can tend to twist. But just do that for however many bottles you wanna hold on your board and that's it. So that's all there is to it, and I can guarantee you that that will not be stopped for very long. I'll likely be pouring a glass of wine for myself after this tonight. Uh, but the beauty of this DIY is that you don't have to stain it, you can have some fun with the colors, you can paint the board, or you can make it way bigger than I did. I'm thinking it might be really cool if you had a whole nice long plank and maybe hung it on the wall. So that's something else that you can do with this DIY. I chose to not put hooks on the back of it to hang it on the wall. Keep in mind, it's gonna be pretty heavy if you have more than three bottles on there. It's already pretty heavy with three bottles. But if you are leaning it up against a wall, on a shelf, or at the counter like I did, it is quite top heavy. You have to have a nice hard lean on it if you don't want it to topple forward. So just keep those things in mind. And if you attempt this DIY, I'd love to see what it looks like. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, at Janelle Steeper. Tag me in those uh, DIYs that you make. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back next Wednesday with a new DIY. Cheers.